Let's go and welcome back everybody to Doki Doki Window to Your Heart. Last episode, um, it was something. We got drunk. We went to a love hotel with Natsuki. Things happened. Just go watch the last episode if that, uh, if that interests you, okay? So without further ado, uh, we're waking up. It's the morning. We're home in our own bed. And let's just see what happens today, I suppose. <laughs> I wake up and immediately hold my head in pain. I got a terrible migraine. I guess this is what a hangover's like. Thankfully, I'm not nauseous. I'd rather not have that along with a headache. Then I realize I'm in my house rather than in the hotel room. What the? Why? I have absolutely no memory of anything after I fell asleep that night. Wait. Last night. I can't believe. My phone rings. I check the number and see it's Natsuki. Hey, Roy, I'm pregnant. Oh, no. I'm hesitant to answer the phone. What if she remembers what happened? What if everything gets awkward between us? No, no, no. I can do this. I answer the phone. Yellow? Hey, it's me. I hope you put my name into your contacts. Anyway, you ready for today? Today? What's today? Oh, we're just gonna take our kid and walk around the park, you know. Gotta, gotta get him some exercise, make sure he's healthy. Oh. Yeah, I'll be there in five minutes. Uh... You gotta be... Uh, don't tell me you forgot already. Are you seriously that dense? No, no, I just... Uh, after last night, I, I don't really remember much. They were really strong drinks. Well, we got a lot of shopping to do. Wait a sec. Last night... I bought train tickets. Meet me there in 15 minutes. She hung up. I wonder if she's more embarrassed than I am. And I'm starting to wonder if this mod has multiple realities? Hold on. <clears throat> Not that that's a surprise. She did try to. Well, I'm realizing now how bad that could have been. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now. I just have to hope it doesn't get awkward. I get dressed and head to the station. Reach the station and wave to Natsuki. He looks away. Hey, Rolar. Uh, hey. Awkward silence is already starting. About, uh, well, last night. We don't need to go there. Oh, are you sure? Yep, nothing's gonna be awkward between us. It's not like we did anything together anyways, I was just acting like a moron. Okay, I don't know if I'm more relieved or less relieved. I'm a little unpogged because I thought that multiple realities was happening and Monica was messing with the game code. Maybe she still is, because I don't know how we got home, but uh, that happened. My penis went in your vagina, huh? <laughs> yeah. We should uh, get on that train. Yeah, let's go. Just like you got on uh, me last night. Ooh -hoo. The train was packed as I imagined it would be. Uh, uh, hey, watch where you're touching. Sorry. I like how that's literally the only scene we had in the train. <laughs> it's just us uh, touching her boob, bro. What the hell? Well, here we are. There's a whole bunch of stores down this area. This is probably where they uh, get the most tourists. Let's get a move on. There's clothes on by themselves. Uh, let me guess. I'll be carrying the bags. Yep. She walks to every store we pass, and I'm forced to follow her. Listen, brother, you're not forced to do anything, but if you want to, uh, you know, marry Natsuki, maybe the wise decision is to carry the bags for today, I suppose. The whole thing she's telling me about, uh, the whole time she's telling me about some TV shows she's been watching. She's really passionate about it, apparently. She's going through all the characters' backstories and relationships, as well as their, her theories for the next season. The whole time, she has this cute little grin on her face. I can't help but smile. I look around, and then I notice other people smiling as they look towards the two of us. Do they? 
No. That can't be right. We're just... Huh? Natsuki noticed too, huh? She looks around and then looks towards me. I can see the cogs turning in her head, and when she came to that conclusion, she quickly stepped an extra foot away from me, blushing. <laughs> I'll admit, that did get a chuckle out of me. After some walking, she stops by another store. This time, it's anime and manga. She looks into the glass, observing the various posters and book covers. I thought she was into this kind of stuff, but I can see a faint frown on her, faint frown on her face. You, uh, wanna go inside? She shakes her head in response. Nah, let's keep going. All right. <clears throat> we eventually reached the clothing store she had in mind. Dude, this is like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is like a, um, oh, I, I, I can't think of the word. It's like a fever dream. Like last night, we're freaking banging Natsuki. We wake up. We don't know where we are. We don't know how we got home. Oh, shit. We're going shopping with Natsuki. Like, I don't know. I'm here for the ride, bro. I'm kind of loving it. So let's just keep going. It's just, this is crazy, man. This is, I feel like this mod has just like took such a pretty drastic turn that I'm kind of down for. A little side route, per se. We eventually reached the clothing store she had in mind. It's a nice looking place. Although there's not much that I think she'd like. Hey, Natsuki, you sure this is the right store? Yeah, I will nippy. Well, I just expected you to be in a more... I'm now realizing that saying the C word probably isn't the best idea. Really? Because I'm pretty sure she doesn't mind the C word in this mod. But okay. Cute clothes, right? I'll have you know that I'm trying to broaden my horizons. I'm gonna buy some more mature clothes this time. No more of the childish stuff I used to wear. Huh. I see. I didn't know you were tired of your old clothes. We don't have to focus on that. Let's go shopping. Natsi slowly makes her way through the store, eyeing the various coats, bags, and shirts. She had a smile at the start, but after only a few minutes, it started to turn into a look of frustration. Nothing fits her. It looks like she doesn't really like what she's seeing. You know what? I'll try this one on. Stay out here. She grabs a dress and heads into the changing room. After an unusual amount of time, she exits with a frown. Let's get out of here. Nothing's gonna fit. Yeah. Those are the wrong size. I'm sure they're smaller ones. It's not just that. They don't have child sizes. Ooh, shoot. The style's just boring. There's no way I'd be able to wear any of this. Let's check the rest of the stores. Maybe they'll actually have something cooler. She grabs my hand and pulls me out of the store. She quickly lets go when she realized what she was doing. <laughs> okay. Baka, we had no luck in finding any cool clothes. We decided to call it a day and head back home. Don't mind me, just uh, allergy season, my dog. We arrive at my house. Thanks for tagging along. It made the trip a lot less boring. No problem. I actually had a lot of fun walking around, believe it or not. Just then, I felt a horrible pain in my head. The same feeling as the one I had when I blacked out. Someone's drilling into my skull. You all right, Rar? Uh, I... Rar! Oh! Ugh. I open my eyes to find that I'm in the kitchen. Why? I sit up, I notice Natsuki's here as well. Jeez, I was starting to get worried. What... What happened? You passed out right outside your house. You had to go through. Your, I had to go through your pockets to find your keys. I didn't take anything else other than that. That's not really what I'm worried about. <clears throat> she walks over to me and smacks me on the top of the head. Listen, I literally just blacked out from a freaking headache, girl. Ow! What was that for? You really scared me, you know. I thought something bad happened to you. Oh, don't tell me. Were you worried about me? Don't be stupid, of course I was. Who wouldn't be? I guess that's true. I right, listen up. You gotta watch your health. I don't want you to just drop dead on me just yet. I'm perfectly healthy. I'm a young, growing boy. How was I supposed to... No excuses. You're gonna call a doctor and you're not gonna whine about it, got it? Alright. I'll call my doctor in the morning. 
Good boy. If you pass out again, I'm, I might not be there to rescue you, you know? Anyway, I should go. It's getting pretty late. Yeah, I guess it is. I'll, uh, I'll see you around. See ya. That was... unexpected. This is something I definitely need to talk to Foster about. Hopefully nothing else happens when I'm sleeping. Nothing. Okay. Hey, why the hell is Dr. Foster's in our in our room? What's happening? Oh, we're probably on the phone. Uh, oh, sh man. I haven't talked to Dr. Foster in like freaking 12 episodes. What does this guy sound like? Blockouts, huh? Yeah, and recently I've been having some memory issues. Sometimes I find myself back at home, but I don't remember how I even got there. It happened twice in a row. I completely forgot about it until it happened um, yesterday. I see. I have a theory as to what might be happening, if you wouldn't mind lending an ear. Keep in mind, this is only a theory. I'll pretty much take any ideas you give me. Do you think this might have to do with your powers? What do you mean? Can you remember when you first acquired your gloves? Gloves? Uh, it had to be when I was about ten, at least. That means your powers had ten years of continued use. Then eight years of nothing until last year, correct? That sounds about right, yeah. It could be that your body isn't used to utilizing that ability. Imagine it like exercising an unused muscle. The muscle tears and it's rebuilt anew with rest. So I just need to stop using my power or should I exercise it more? That's correct. I also have another theory. You might not like this one. Hit me, Doc. Well, I've done some thinking and a thought crossed my mind. There's a possibility that as you grow older, you... Your mind might start to become confused as to which memories are yours. Holy crap, dude. That would be so freaking messed up. By the way, again, if you're not caught up with the series, we have an ability to where if we touch something without gloves on, or if we do like lip-to-lip -lip contact with someone, uh, we, all of their memories get injected into our brain. So we just download literally a person's like past experiences completely. We just feel it all. So, um, yeah, we've worn gloves to, you know, prevent that for a very long time. Huh. That would cause gaps in your memory, or certain events might not be lining up with reality. Or Monica is just messing with the game code. Bro, do you know what game we're freaking in? Duh. Again, this is only speculation. I'm not entirely certain if that would even occur. Possibilities there, though. Can't deny that. I can only hope it doesn't actually happen. If you're comfortable with it, I'd suggest scheduling an MRI. There may be something worth finding there. I'm not sure my brain is any different from anyone else's. Besides, I already got one ages ago and they found nothing. I see, well... I can feel my phone vibrate. I check the contact and see that it's Alex. Sorry, Foster, but I'm getting a call. No worries. We were wrapping up the discussion anyways. Have a good day, Raw. I help the phone and accept Alex's call. Yo, I was wondering if you wanted to grab lunch at the usual spot. I check the time and it reads 12.30. Sure, I wasn't doing anything anyway. Nice, I'll meet you there at 10. In 10. Ah, Mackers, bro, let's go! I show up exactly 10 minutes later after seeing... After some searching, I see Alex waving me down. Took you long enough. But I showed up on time, dog! I know, I know. Anyway, what's up with the uniform? It's Sunday. Oh, this? Well, you know... Enough money was already put in this mod, that, you know. I'm kind of a background character anyway. I'm not that important. They just kind of give me one outfit. Sorry, man. I only have like two poses too. I uh, listen, dog. I get it. I get it. I get it. Listen, been there, done that. Same, same with my model as well. Okay, I get it. Order. It's tough for me to explain. I got a crazy life outside of school. I'll tell you that much. School is the only place that feels grounded, like the world isn't spinning around me. I love this uniform, so that's why I wear it all the time. Good cover-up, bro. I like it. I like it. This makes sense, bro. It gives him, you know, that sense of comfortability. You know, that sense of identity. Where he wants to belong. Where he feels like he belongs. Cool. Cool. 
But that's not where I called you. Uh, uh, that's not why I called you to talk to you about. That's not what I called you to talk to you about. <laughs> you called me for food, right? <laughs> yes and no. You see, I've sort of fallen in love with Monica. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I know. It was pretty obvious, bro. It's all I read your freaking mind. I don't have 300 IQ. I only have 200, but I still knew, dude. Wow, shocker. Was it really that obvious? For me, at least. All right, well, I'm not sure about what to do. I figured you could help me out. She's just an amazing person. She's everything I could ever want, but, well, I don't know if it's really right to do this. We've been friends since we were kids, and if I push it any further... So you want my help, man? Well, I'm not sure I'm the best person for the job, and you'll probably hate this advice, but... Do what you feel is right. That's it? Yep. Yep. Don't listen to what anyone else has to say about it. Do what your heart tells you. Listen to your heart. Your window to your heart. If you feel Monica's the girl for you, send it. Bro, what the hell? Somehow, these characters have, like, the same quotes I do. Alex says, let's go. He says, let's freaking go. I say, send them. Send it. Like, what the hell, man? What is going on? Send it. It's that simple, huh? Thanks, Rar. I guess I'll suck it up and just do it. And now what about you? You got any girls you're into? <laughs> I'm not talking about it. Oh, come on. You don't gotta hide it. Come on. It's only fair, man. I told you. You should tell me. Alex, fuck off. That's not how it works. You wanted to tell me. I don't want to tell you. Let me ask you this. Have you felt any strange feelings around a certain girl? Strange feelings? Well, now that I think about it, there's... This pain in my chest. It happens every now and then when I'm talking to someone. My chest feels tight and my heart rate increases. Rar, you may just be having a heart attack. I see. That means you're experiencing two things. Love and nerves. Excuse me? I think it's been a while since you felt that feeling, so you're probably afraid as to what it'll become. Am I wrong in making that assumption? Uh, you're... There's no way it's love. I... You're right, but I don't feel like that's what love is supposed to feel like. I've had a girlfriend before. Her name was Veronica. Whoa, okay, never knew that. When I was with her, I didn't feel anything like this. I'm sure, I was nervous, but not to this extent. And maybe she wasn't someone you really loved. I, I swear I loved her. If I didn't, then why did I act the way that I did when she... When she... I shouldn't think about that. I won't discuss it anymore, but I'll say that you're right about the fear part. I'm afraid of anything dated related. dating related. After all, it always ends with tears. They don't have to. I know plenty of friends who ended things peacefully. Sometimes things just don't work out. You can't really do anything about it. And relationships aren't about waiting for the breakup. They're about the experiences you share and the memories you make. You know what I mean? Well... I guess Veronica and I did have some fun times. I guess that's why I hurt so much when things ended the way they did. Maybe you're right. Like I always say, of course I'm right. I won't ask what girl you like, but I'll give you the same advice you just gave to me. Just send it, man. The worst that'll happen is she says no. I realized a while ago that it wouldn't end the world if Mona could turn me down, but it still scared me a shit ton. So maybe that fear won't go away, but that doesn't change the fact that you gotta go for it, man. It's something I'll decide on later. We still have a lot we need to focus on right now. True, true. For example, the lunch we still haven't touched. Come on, first let's finish our fries. Uh, first, to finish their fries has to pay for the next meal. Shit, might be. <laughs> Yo, Macker's fries, bro, I can devour those sons of guns in like 20 seconds. I'm not even kidding. I'm talking like a medium fry as well. I end up losing the bet. For some reason, Alex can eat unnaturally fast. <clears throat> I can too. It's weird. I'm a skinny, I'm a skinny individual, but you know, when the food goes down quick, what can I say? And I, I do eat quite a lot too. Oh, one day my metabolism will slow down a little bit, so I get some thick thighs. That would be, whoo, would love that. Would love that. I would love that. Just as I lay down and take a nap, my phone vibrates again. I check the phone and see that it's Natsuki. Hey, what's up? Hey, I just wanted to let you know that, uh... Damn it. 
I had fun yesterday. I wanted you to, uh, I wanted to know if you maybe wanted to do it again. Natsuki wants to hang out with me again? You don't have to say yes, I was just wondering. Uh, I don't have anything else planned for today. Ch sure, I'd love to. I, I mean, I'd like to, yeah. Great, I mean, cool. That's cool. You're paying for the chain this time. I figured. I'll meet you there soon. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, crap. Why? We don't even get to experience the second date? I mean, I guess we already just did one like 10 minutes ago. So, you know what? Fair enough. Um, all right. I mean, well, I mean, that that's a transition. We're in class now. So, you know, this is bada bing, bada boom, the start of the next arc. So we might as well uh, end this here and uh, we'll jump into next episode ASAP. Well, I mean, listen. If you've been following my channel, you kind of get the the up the upload schedule at this point. Usually DDLC comes out like once every three days. Usually I have like two other videos that go in between that. In the beginning, that was because I I'm, I have two other series. I have Franbo and Danganronpa. And in general, most of the time, my schedule is like Danganronpa, Franbo, DDLC, and then we go down the line. Um, but currently, I don't have any more Franbo videos, you know, those, you know, those take more effort, you know, there's a lot more editing involved and stuff like that. And Danganronpa takes a while too, you know. Luckily, you know, I do have someone helping me out with that a little bit. Julia, shout outs to you. Much love. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, so essentially that's still kind of the idea. You know, DDLC will still kind of be spaced out that way anyway. But, you know, it may not be exactly Frambo or, D or Danganronpa. It might be, you know, a horror game that I uploaded like, a, I don't know, like a week and a half ago, or me taking a quiz, or a stream highlight, or an anime video, or, you know, whatever. Anyway, we are a variety channel here, okay? So, the chains are unleashed. They're broken. We can do whatever the freaking heck we want here, all right? But anyway, we'll catch you guys again soon. If you like the DDLC, you know, let me know. Always appreciated. Um, still love playing DDLC. Um... And I still have a passion to, like, literally play through all of the mods. I think it'd be so cool to just have a playlist of, like, every mod play, like, with a playthrough done. So that way anybody that, like, wants to jump into, like, the DDLC modding community, like, has videos right there for their leisure to just watch that I have provided. I think that's really cool. And it's just fun to do anyway. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Much love. Take care. And have a damn good one.